Today I'm with Stephen Savage here at the Bookseller in Fairhope and I'm excited to talk to him because he is well known here in Fairhope as a photographer, a film producer, and an educator. With your own photography, I've seen such a variety of your works. You have celebrities that come to the area, music concerts, events, private parties, and, and weddings. It's incredible. Yours appear to be unique, like their personalities are coming out in the photos as opposed to, oh, I can tell that, oh, I know which photographer. I don't want to look like anybody else. I want my photographs to stand out and people go, oh, I want that for me. This is my favorite. She looks she was, authentically she, happy. Yeah, that's an awfully sweet photograph. I love senior portraits because they bring so much creativity, high school seniors, and they're just so much fun. Anytime you make a portrait, it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration between the person being photographed and the photographer. Right. You bring it to me, I bring it to you, we make something special. Some of your wedding photos are just so unique from what I've seen historically that people frame in their homes. What usually is kind of your approach to those? Well, make it fun, first of all. You know, it's, it's, so many people say, wow, that was really easy, that was really fun, that was no problem. You know, they're waiting for someone, I guess, who don't know what they're doing to say, oh, do this. Mm. You know, and it's dumb, don't do that. Let's yeah. have fun, let's do something fun. Well, the one of Amy and Stephen on the bay is mm -hmm. probably my favorite. Because... And it really just happened. We were out on the pier, most of the people were on the shore waiting for us to come in. And I just told them on the way, just stop. And so they just turned around, boom. It looks like you spent an hour posing everyone. It looks very posed. But it, it, worked, it was perfect. Yeah. Even though weddings have, you know, A, B, C, what happens, mm -hmm. they're all unique. They're all individual. And if you can bring out the individual personalities, I think you find something wonderful. All right, so in addition to photography, you do film production. Mm -hmm. So I went to the Film Fest this year, loved Canon Girl, oh, and you. was able to see the interview mm -hmm. um, also here at the bookseller. How long have you been doing that? Yeah, I actually started making films when I was in college, so a long time ago. And then I didn't do it for a long time, and so, but I've been doing it again now for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. And most of the films I do are documentary type things or PSAs for nonprofits or businesses that need a short film. But to make films that are, you know, film festival worthy is a passion also and, and great fun. Cannon Girl was, I think, very good. Great. The producer, by the way, is a woman named Pandora Heathco. film I made before that was called The Ruby Glasses. I say I make. I'm working with really talented people, Excellent. by the way. And mostly local people All that local. work together. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, Cannon Girl was incredibly entertaining. How was it Well, accepted? it won the Audience Choice Award for Best Short Film. That was really gratifying. Truth be told, uh, educating is really the thing that makes me the most happy. I love to see the light go off when people get something. Well, you're talented and then you're passionate mm -hmm. about your mm -hmm. subject matter. I taught at Spring Hill for 20 years. Photography Incredible. and art history and the history of photography, photojournalism. I moved to the Eastern Shore in 2002 when I closed Savage Photo Lab in Gallery. Mm -hmm. That was on Old Chill Road in Mobile. What kind of classes are you teaching now at Eastern Shore Art Center? I teach photography there. I do an intro class. I do it four times a year. I'm also teaching across the street at the Bone and Barrel, teaching an advanced photo class. Mm -hmm. I started the Eastern Shore Camera Club uh, 11 years ago with a woman named Kim Matthews. And our motto is we want to educate and we want to entertain. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of my lifestyle. Yeah. I want to entertain you and I want to educate. To, I see you have a lot of events around town. I work on a lot of events. I help produce a lot of events. But I tell you, there's a few events that are particularly fun. I think Polo at the Point, mm -hmm. pretty wonderful. Uh, maybe my favorite event is the steak cook-off that the Rotary Club puts on. It's an outdoor party. It's, it's a very great Fairhope gathering. Oh, and there's music and food. And it's I fun. I love when they close the streets and yeah. everyone... Like a block party. Exactly. Another event that I love is the White Linen Nights at, uh, at the Eastern Shore Arts Center. It is a marvelously fun event. There's a lot of events, and a lot of them are free. And that's a nice thing. You know, Alive at Five, Mardi Gras parades, mm -hmm. Christmas parade. All these events are free. And, you know, the concerts here at Bookseller. There's a lot of things you can do and have a good time and not spend any money. When you photograph them, then later people see, oh, that looked like an excellent concert. This Friday, I want to make it to Live at Five because you've shared exactly. your experiences. Exactly. And it makes, it's fun for other people. So there I'm there just to capture what's going on, what makes it fun and what makes it unique to our community. 
So what kind of things have you seen change and improve or develop in Fairhope over the years? I started coming here in 86, I think it was. It was a little funkier when I started coming here and most of the people I met were a little funkier. And now we've got a lot of people from outside, and of course I'm from outside, so I shouldn't really speak like that. But we have a lot of folks that are new, and it's uh, there's a lot of good things, and there's a little more sophistication, and uh, it's a bigger community. And I think it, it, creatively, it's a bigger community mm -hmm. as well, and that's that's gratifying. I agree. I mean, with the arts, with mm -hmm. photography, with music, it's a very artistic community, and so that's one of the reasons we wanted to reach out to you because you've got a good finger on the pulse. Well, you know, you know, people say I know everybody, and I don't. I don't know everybody, but I know most of the people who are doing things, mm -hmm. and that's fun. That's really fun to be a part of and to know people who are making things happen, Right. and I like being one of them. Well, thank you so much for your time. Next time you're at an event here in the Fairhope area or Eastern Shore, look for Stephen Savage because <laughs> he will likely be there. Bye. Bye.